like basically second in command to all of us. So much names and yeah, just yeah. pyramid of people to make exactly. the good event. Exactly. But what this good event needs is a good winner's finals. <laughs> so we got Pulse Rog versus Lightwork. Now, Michigan does not have a whole lot of villagers. Um, we have about, we have like one, his name's up, AKA Brian. And he's definitely oh. not at this level that Lightwork is at. Oh, okay. So maybe Pulse Rog will struggle with this matchup potentially, you think? Yeah, I think we might see a little bit of a struggle. But I think Diddy Kong kind of like wins this matchup a little bit. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. Um, I think he wins it on stage, but the second he goes on off stage, yep. Villager can definitely uh, lay, lay the Gimp City. Exactly. The Nairs, the uh, even like the one tur like a solo turn up will do so much damage to uh, Diddy's recovery. Who has the recovery. banana right now? I, I think, think he I stole think, it. I don't, yeah, I don't I think know he what stole happened. It was a villager pocket, so. Yeah, Diddy pocket. And from what I know, Lightwork uh, knows this matchup fairly well because so Lightwork comes from Leamington, and there's not a ton big, big smash scene in mm -hmm. Leamington, but the second best player in Leamington is Diddy Mate. Okay. So I think oh, yeah, he knows Nanaba, the matchup, Nanaba. Yep, and I can clearly tell he does because what he did just there is he pulled the banana out by clicking uh, pocket once more to bring it out so it's in his hand, and then he clicked pocket again to put it back in. And what that does is refresh the 30-second timer mm -hmm. on a pocketed item to make it so it constantly is not in play. Yeah. So light work, he does not care that he can't use pocket at all, whether or not it's to try and get him out of like a air dodge situation. Mm -hmm. He just says, I don't want to deal with a ditty with bananas. Yep, that, that's, so, that's really smart by Lightwork, right? Props to Josh. Lightwork, Josh, same person. Yeah. All right, but this is still a fairly even yeah, match. Yeah, de definitely really close. Both these players not wanting to draw, not not wanting to drop first blood here. Mm -hmm. I think a back throw on either of these. I think next grab at the edge will win. Oh I mean, yes, we'll, for we'll sure. Take that first stock. Sorry. Yep, and Rog just barely whiffs. Oh, uh, Rog's wow. mobility. I played against him in bracket. That priority. His mobility is insane. Yeah, this is actually a quite like a oh. pretty different uh, mobile like mobile Rog that I've ever seen. He normally, yep, he That's normally wouldn't throw, use um, monkey flip all that much to like generate movement and kind of like zip around the entirety of the stage. But it's like he's taking a note out of Zenodo's book and say, hey, maybe I should start doing that. Interesting, Whoa. interesting. All right, but Lightwork, adding out, tagging out some good percent here is basically t doing 50, 62 unanswered percent. Solidly. Whoa. What? Oh, oh. okay. Okay, so Whoa, basically it? here's what happened. Yeah. I think it was the bowling, uh, he gimped him, but the jetpack hit yeah. the wall, killed Lightwork, <laughs> and then his Lloyd hit him and to reset him so he could jetpack. <laughs> All right. A pretty intense exchange. Yeah, he got him with a uh, triple turn up, so it definitely like blew up Rog. Yeah. And then the barrels hit the stage. Lightwork was sent up and into the skies, landed back in the village. So I think Rog's probably pretty happy about that. If he can retain momentum, get some combos, and maybe. Oh, I thought he was going to go for something like nutty, like a down air or something. Yeah, I did too. That, that would have been pretty cool. Yeah, Rog is known for taking like very unorthodox style kills. And that, like, just that raw down air where you don't think a Diddy would ever down air would be one of those moves. Okay. Nice back, back throw. throw. Not going to get the kill. kill. And that's definitely going to stale it a little bit. So, like, center stage. Yep. Wow, lots of tricks coming in. Ooh. What Lightwork should have been doing is that he, since he hit that tree, he should have anticipated that Rog was going to do the roll because if he had jumped or did a neutral oh, hit up, no. he was going to lose. Footstools him to to but, you know, it doesn't matter because footstools. To take the game. <laughs> Sandu in the chat. Oh, Sandu is in there? Yeah. Yo, what up, Sandu? I see Eternal Blue in there a lot. And I must it must be something recent than Eternal Blue that he is using a lot more monkey flip because the last time I played Rockin' Tournament, which was a couple months ago, he was not utilizing a lot of the monkey flip technology. Nice, nice. Interesting, interesting. So he's yeah, uh, against me he was definitely doing a lot of um, edge canceled side beast monkey Okay. Flips. Yeah, which is I know is pretty good on Diddy Kong. Yeah. I talked to uh, Krim Foish the other day. Mm -hmm. um, Diddy Kong main from... Ontario. Win yeah, Ontario. Uh, fifth on the PR, I believe. And yeah. he, he was saying that uh, edge cancel multi uh, monkey flips are very hard to react to because you can do like back airs and stuff right yeah. them, so super quick. Yeah, I remember because back in like the early, early Smash 4 days, so back when we were on like vanilla 3DS, she had, could ledge cancel her bouncing fishes, and oh my gosh, oh, that I, sounds scary. Oh, it was a beautiful thing. I'm so upset that they uh, took it out when everybody else got to like. It, keep it sounded it. scary though. Oh, it's because like at the center of the stage when they're offset, you could just crouch, and there's that's just fear right there. Yep. And like you could just down B and like not get punished. Yep. Now this is winners finals. Are we in a three out of five, or is it two yeah, out of three? Yeah, three out of five. Oh, cool. Yeah. Three uh, out of five. We always do. Uh, 
winners finals, losers finals, and grands are always BO5. Cool. I know since the Michigan weeklies tend to be in the upwards of near like 89 people. <laughs> yeah, not much you can uh, do. For we, that. You have, we're forced to do two out of threes. Yeah. Very VG boot camp like. We're very uh, we're very lenient with the amount of games we. <laughs> I caught that. <laughs> yeah, but all right, and Omega Gamer. This is Rog's tried and true combination. Nobody really knows why he does it. Whoa! But I we're thought... all guessing that it's because he knows how to do like all the weird wall jump wall cling shenanigans. And we've seen him like wall jump up from like basically the depths of hell of this stage and make it back on stage. Yeah. I definitely uh, I disagree with that because he was fiddling with the music. It's the uh, music counter bits. And <laughs> True. Yeah. I mean, it is Ashley's song, which is by far the best WarioWare song to ever exist. It's kind of scary. It kind of creeps me out. The stage is really creepy because like the hand yeah. will, will appear. I don't know what any of that means. Dude, it's mom. <laughs> oh, oh no, Rog kills himself. That's unfortunate. Rog He's chuckling. It off. He's yeah, chuckling. That, that's all right. That's, that's my favorite part about the weeklies. People are a lot more, uh, a lot more fun about it. Yeah. You see a lot more laughter and a lot more smiles from even even screw ups like so that. So your weeklies, you said, get up to eighty nine people. Yeah. That's um, awesome. We consistently, I don't, I think, over the past like five weeks, we've had over uh, sixty people, and that was even our teens weekly, which had thirty two teams. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Where, do you, where do you guys host those? Uh, we host it at a bowling alley. <laughs> no way. That's sweet. Yeah, we're in a, the party room at oh, a bowling alley. Oh, great side alley. B. By That's awesome. Yeah, well, but if we need to, there's a bar in the bowling alley, so we kind of like said overflow into the bar. Nice. So, nice. yeah, we're our weekly venue is very accommodating for our needs. Awesome. That's awesome. Man, we have, a bowl, we have a couple of bowling alleys here. Let's get that going. Oh, they're Dude, there's a bowling alley right next to my school. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, bowling alley turn – like bowl, bowling alley – Venues are real cool, especially if you're 21 in at least yeah. Michi oh. in Michigan, because yeah. you're like, oh, Why you I lost. Play me like that? You're like, oh, I lost. Oh, yeah. I, whatever. I can I just go, go drink. drink for a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> drink that my smash sorrows away. That is true. We're hoping at one day to get a license here and do that and be able to have a bar here. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. One one side turn uh, 18. Because <laughs> drinking ain't you. Oh yeah. 18. Is it 18? I thought it was 19 in Canada. It's 19. Oh, once I turn 19. <laughs> good, good try though. If yeah, you go to Quebec and it's, and it's 18. Oh yeah, that's where it was. Yeah. Once I turn 19, which is a few years. Because <laughs> yeah, we were joking coming over here that, hey Rog, the board, the lady at the border, she's like, you guys aren't bringing dr drugs or alcohol, right? And we're like, nope. And I'm like, oh Rog, you're 19. We can get you drunk. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just yeah, take you back over the that's board. That, that's unfortunate, a strategy. unfortunate thing in the States is just the, uh, the 21. Drink, the drinking wow. age is just um, so oh, – Great back throw by Lightwork yeah. to take the second game. A little bit of a huge tangent there. <laughs> yeah. That was some good work by Lightwork. <laughs> yeah, great. Oh, yeah. Golf clap, golf clap. I guess <laughs> you would call it some light work. Yeah, he's making light work <laughs> of ROG. <laughs> Easy 3-0 sweep incoming, we gotta Kappa. Go to, we got to get <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get off commentary, man. <laughs> uh, so uh, you're, you're back to your weeklies. Um, I'm gonna help you, help you get some advertising. Who usually wins your weeklies? Zenodo. That's, um, awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, but when Zenodo is not there, you might see Ally win because Ally lives in Michigan. Uh, Wait, six so seven months out of the year. Usually, grand finals are Ally Zenodo. Yeah. And Zenodo beats Ally. Sometimes. Recently <laughs> in. In recent months, Zenodo has just been kind of getting like swept up by uh, Ally. Oh yeah, Ally so. seems like after Pound and everything. He's is he still playing on uh, Mario? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I haven't seen him in a while. I think he's coming to Gommel. I don't. Yeah, he is. I think he is. Yeah. Let's go Gommel. That's Hyden. gonna get pretty huge. I'm so pumped. Yeah, we're up at Land ETS this weekend. So that's gonna be my first big tournament. It'll be yeah. a good one. I know uh, To Joe's gonna run a good event. Yeah. Every get on my level has been real good so far. Awesome. And all like. All the big Canadian nationals that he helps, he hosts. They're all good stuff. Cool, cool. Wow. Okay, so Rog is opting to go Sheik. Now, uh, he's he's always had a Sheik, um, mainly pre-patch. Yeah. And it's really, like, I've been seeing him working on it in friendlies, like, after tournaments and stuff. So he's definitely trying to make this character still work for him. Because he really, like, there's one thing he, do he wants, and that's a character that can go off stage freely without the fear of dying. And Sheik is definitely that fits that mold. Interesting. Oh, <gasps> oh, little, my gosh. little bit. So I know that definitely uh, Sheik wins this matchup. Yes, it. I. She definitely does. But Villager actually can give Sheik a run for her money. Especially Villager with this can new give patch. like any character a run for money. Like, yeah. like the thing where his offstage is so nutty and like obviously yeah. best recovery in the game and still has a bunch of great tools. Like Villager's a really good character. Oh, that's great kill. back air. Yeah. Get the stage spike. 
I don't think he could attack that. If he no, that was an untackable situation there. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, no, he kills himself. Why did he do that? <laughs> well, I think what he was trying to do was kind of like go for style points and like explode it's it. It's like, all right, Josh, you got right it. Right near that ledge so he could re yeah. And I, it was like a couple months ago that I learned that Villager could actually control the speed of the Lloyd Rocket. Yeah, yeah I it just found that out. It blew my mind. I just found that out like literally last week. It blew my mind. I'm like, he can do that? Yeah. What is this? That's like, I'm like, that's kind of like bullcrap a little bit. Like, yeah. yeah, it is pretty dumb. <laughs> it's like you can control how fast you get back to the ledge. It's stupid. Get it out of here. Yeah, but going back to this matchup in specific, like kind of specifically, uh, with the patch, kind of targeting Sheik's grab game. It actually uh, helps Villager a lot in this matchup because the one Bane Villager had was he's kind of like a kind of like a big midweight. So down throw up air was very much a, like a confirm from like the 120 to 150% range. So now that down throw kind of has this really stupid scaling to make it a lot harder to link with uh, into like aerials. That would have been sweet. Villager can live a lot longer. And we're kind of seeing that like lack of kill option. Uh, oh. Rog is kind of struggling securing this kill despite having a lead. Back throw will not kill this percent for light work. I think maybe you should try to get a stage spike and hope light work maybe misses the turn. Yeah, or even that maybe just a triple turn up. Yeah. A nice, tri a nice rage induced triple turn up could definitely do wonders for uh, light work here. I work at very high percent. Sheik not having solid kill options. Maybe he's gonna have to run up. Hope he catches light work. Oh, Ooh, that up Yep. Oh, Great wow. play by light work. Ball. Excellent. Yep. You don't mess with the bowling ball. Yeah. No. Don't mess with it. You just say, you know. Good shit, Josh. I, oh. I don't need that ledge yet. 